Hey guys, and here we are back with another video and I hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with the first small disappointment, well small, depends, disappointment on the Apple M1 MacBook Air. And right now I'm testing three machines on After Effects and spoiler alert on two things, nice surprises on the third one, not really sure because they haven't finished all rendering. But that being said, what we are going to talk about on this particular video is, first of all, I'm going to do a small correction uh, regarding the last video regarding the Final Cut Pro 10 results. Link right over here. In terms of Adobe Premiere, it was a huge surprise for me. So link right over here as well. The MacBook Air with the Apple Silicon M1, which is one of these right over here, is at this moment the best computer to render a 4k timeline without any issues at all it did blow away with any computer that i've got right over here i7 8700k with 32 gigabytes of ram the i5 10400 with 64 gigabytes of ram the mac mini the macbook pro everything was blown away by the m1 so that was huge why did i get disappointed because there was one result special on final cut that was not that good but in that in just a few moments now the first thing that i would like to mention is that a correction regarding the last result on final cut because i did have the macbook air and the macbook pro uh, all updated with big sur and the latest uh, version of final cut but my mac mini had catalina and the previous version of final cut and in that sense i did a mistake and i apologize for that so the results that i gave on that video were rendering a 1080 timeline of one of these videos that i do for youtube and it was regarding the galaxy samsung galaxy fit 2 uh, sports band which was a 13 minute timeline i did give you guys these results two minutes and 30 for the macbook air three minutes and 13 for the MacBook Pro and then 2 minutes and 36 for the Mac Mini. Now the correction is 1 minute and 50 seconds for the Mac Mini. This after updating to Big Sur and after updating to the latest version of Final Cut Pro. Now having that in mind when I did update the Mac Mini there was already another update for the operating system and what happens is that I wanted to update the the other two so that we have everything exactly the same so the results at this moment for that particular timeline 1080 13 minutes simple video such as this one like right over here in the macbook air instead of the two minutes and 30 decreased to two minutes and 13 macbook pro three minutes and 13 decreased to two minutes and 39 and the mac mini one minute and 50. so these are the results for that particular timeline 13 minutes timeline which is just awesome if you want to check just check the original video right over here i'll post it right over there and you can see it's a simple video no effects at all something like this with 13 minutes just render now regardless of the machine that you choose the m1 with the uh, new silicon from apple and the uh, macbook pro or the mac mini the results are just awesome for 13 minutes rendering in two minutes and something is just great and these results we were seeing across all boards and adobe premiere was a really nice surprise for me because it just rendered okay this one well i'm not really sure which machine finished rendering but after effects records the, the timing so i'll just check once i record this one to see which finished first and so on and so forth but as i was saying adobe premiere was a really nice surprise for me and i was expecting final cut to do the same now on 1080 there was no surprise the apple m1 beat the macbook pro with the i5 from intel just did not beat the mac mini because it had a dedicated gpu external gpu so it has a little bit more of umph now what i did was using one of the phones that I've got right over here, the Samsung Galaxy S20. I did record two types of files like I did for Adobe Premiere. One is 4K 30 frames per second and H.264 and the other one 4K 30 frames per second HEVC. Those were the files and what I did was a timeline for roughly five minutes each and then render it. Now Adobe Premiere if you are wondering great results right over there but Final Cut Pro 10 well just Final Cut Pro, what happens is that the results are not that good. So the MacBook Air for this timeline took 5 minutes and 13 seconds, while the MacBook Pro uh, took 3 minutes and 20 seconds. And this should have gone the other way 
rounds, at least according to all the other tests that we have been doing, and it didn't. Now, I did repeat the test and repeat and repeat because I thought, well, something is wrong right over here, but all the software is updated, Final Cut is updated, so there was nothing that I could do. I just uh, watched and watched and repeated until I said, okay, there's something here that Intel has that Apple Silicon doesn't. And this will, in my opinion, of course, have to do with some video formats that are, I don't know, better decoded by Intel CPUs than Apple Silicon. This is a possibility because M1, it's scraped on most tasks, but there is at least one right over here that it doesn't. Now with HEVC, the result was not that different. I did put the timeline, which was roughly five minutes, five minutes and something. And the MacBook Air took five minutes and 38 seconds, while the MacBook Pro uh, took three minutes and 40 seconds to render that exact same. So this is the first disappointment and it's not a disappointment. It's something that I was not expecting. I was expecting great results, but I did not stop right over there. I did find, well, okay, let's try a file from a GoPro 9, which is a machine that I'm using on a daily basis. I will share my opinion with you in just a couple of days. If you are wondering if we can use something like this for an everyday usage for everything, or not, then stay tuned to the channel and I'll share with you guys. But what I did was basically the same. I took a sample from it and then put it on a five, min a five minute timeline and the result was very similar. The MacBook Air took four minutes to render while the MacBook Pro took two minutes and 18 to render that exact same file. So guys, these are the results. Why? I don't know. What kind of format of file? Uh, I've told you H.264 from the Samsung, HEVC from the Samsung, and 4K H.264, I guess, from the GoPro. So just a regular file, nothing special, nothing, I don't know, just regular footage. So guys, basically this is it. In my opinion, what it is, is that Intel has a certain amount of uh, in terms of hardware decoding capabilities, probably better than Apple Silicon at this moment. I'm not really sure if this is something that can improve over software. Probably it can, as we have seen in Final Cut, it did improve the timing with this slide. So although it's a bit confusing for you, a bit confusing for me, these are the results. A bit disappointed. Yeah, I was expecting the other way around and just, okay, Apple M1 is better than the Intel in every single way. The truth is that it's not. In this particular case, 4K, 30 frames per second H.264 did not work and if you want a sample to try and test that out on your computer just leave a comment down below or send me an email or something like that I will be gladly to send you a sample of uh, one of the footage of my phone or even from the GoPro Hero 9 Black, which is something that it's easy to sample or something like that. Guys, hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was, don't forget the usual and very appreciated thumbs up right over there. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.